Naam, karibu viwanjani. Mabingwa washikilizi wa ligi kuu nchini Gor Mahia wameboresha uongozi wao kwa kuchapa wenyeji Kakamega Homeboys mabao matatu kwa mawili. Mabao hayo ya Kogali alipachikwa na Ephraim Guikan aliyepachika mawili huku Charles Momanya aliyekuwa mchezaji wa Homeboys awali akirejea na kujeruhi timu yake kwa la ushindi. <tos> mshindo wa medali ya dhahabu katika mashindano ya jumuiya ya madola Helen Obiri amesema kuwa matarajio yake ni kwamba msimu wake utakuwa nywe bila bugda zozote hata hivyo jambo linalomkosesha lepe la usingizi ni utumizi wa dawa za kusisimua misuli madai yanayozidi kutia kitanzi nchi hii ya Kenya Um, michoana jumia madola you are very very impressive umeenda kwa doa umerudi pengine tueleze imekuwa vipi mpaka sasa vile mwaka imeendelea thank you so much i think kwa sasa hivi tunaanza season maybe what i can say in doa sababu tukiwa na gold coast ilifanya vizuri maybe let's I say it's a competition sometimes kuna kushinda na kuna kushinda but i still focus hiyo kitu ita ni pia stress but i have to focus in quarters ingine so far i'm targeting to kwenda world kwenda africa games so i'm still strong i believe in myself yeah. season ndio imeanza tu bado very very ripe tutarajie nini so far i cannot promise anything because sababu tutenda races kama tatu hivi ndio tujue but what i believe i'm going to do much better yeah na mshindi wa shaba katika mashindano ya jumuiya ya madola eh, Christine Ongare amesema kwamba hana mpinzani kabisa aswa baada ya mpinzani huyo kujiunga na KDF. Na japo bondia wa kike nchini wanapitia changamoto sihaba katu hajakata tamaa. Ana ombi moja tu kwa serikali angalau ape kazi aweze kujikimu kimaisha. tupate kujua gold coast mambo yalikuwa vipi una, una, unajisikiaje kwanza tuanzie hapo unajisikiaje kuwa uh, the only kenya ambaye alishinda medal outside athletics nasikia poa na najivunia okay it was not easy so that but i tried my level best yeah So as, as, as one of the boxers that took outside the 11 boxers that went to Gold Coast Australia uh, you are the only one that came back with a medal and uh, people will be asking you know in the all the, in, in all the fights that you took part in you know what worked for you what made you uh, win that uh, bronze medal Okay for me it was the first thing it was so challenging because I was the only hope that was remaining within the whole team then the first opponent was so competitive whereby to me i say it was it was a miracle whereby i don't know what went wrong with his leg with her leg but when we entered in the ring she had more power than me because for me mu panda weight but with her ni kama yeye ukata weight whereby she had more power than i did but when he ilifika time nikona nimempig up alinipiga yes kusabu ile ni you score i score Benyali ni piga nikapata opportunity pia nikamhit nikoona ni kama anaanza ku retreat hapo ndo nilijipatia courage nikapata at the end na win na kwa hizi fights zote ambazo ulipitia hapo to getting to the ndio ufike kwa hiyo uh, title match ni unaona ni kama upinzani ulikuwaaje fight zote within the country ama huko uh, kwa gold coast gold coast nini new fight kulingana na namba ya watu wenye mko kwa nini sasa tulikuwa mademu wa saba na mademu wa saba kuna mo australia ndi alipatiwa bai whereby we had tukabaki ma boxers wa sita whereby mpaka mpigane sasa ndio mfike kwa kuota so already mimi nilikuwa kwa kuota sasa venye niliwinio kuota ndio nikakuwa nimewai bronze sasa nilikuwa na fight ya for silver mm. So now you have a, a, a bronze medal to your to your name and uh, I I know a number of Kenyans will be watching at home wanting to know uh, how did it get to a point that you know you got into boxing Challenges ni mob kwanza within East Lando zi life yenye tunaishi whereby inafika gata time wewe mwenyewe ndo unafauna decide 
una abstain kwa sababu kuna mabesta wengine in life ambao wa drop down ndio focus usipoa drop down na uwezi sasa before that nikiwa kama 13 12 nishai kuwa pia footballer niko na i ni fit ndio nikarudi nikakaa kidogo ndio nikarudi nika join boxing sasa before ni ingia boxing nilikuwa nataka kukuwa acrobatic ikakuwa namba ya acrobatic imeja kwa sababu inapea wana kwa watu wa saba sasa ndio nikapata mtu akani convince na mwenye kunconvince alikuwa the first woman to participate in Olympics Elizabeth and Diego wakisaidia na nani na, na Odero Evelyn Odero sasa ndo ameni motivate nikaendelea hivyo mpaka nikafika penye nimefika tukakuja tukakutana na tukakutana na nini Kentrack coach Kentrack sababu league mob I couldn't participate kwa sababu siku kuwa na ndoa ya kujipeleka na pia ule coach wa mtaani pia si ati ya kupua sasa ameni support league nikienda at least nikiwa active although opponent pia challenge kwa madem kwa Kenya tuko down ama tuseme within Africa kwa sababu na bila shaka ni balozi mzuri sana wa nchi ya Kenya kwenye ndoni na naomba kazi hivyo basi serikali haina budila kumwajiri huyo bondia Ongare. Naam, ligi kuu ya Uingereza imefika tamati mwanzo. Mm -hmm. Manchester City timu yako hii tayari ishatoa mwanamwali lakini michuano ratu ya leo usiku Chelsea watakuwa kwa nyumbani dhidi ya Huddersfield, mm -hmm. Leicester atagaragazana na Arsenal, mm -hmm. Manchester City watakuwa watakuwa kwa kiamboni katika Uga Etihad dhidi ya Brighton, Tottenham Hotspurs timu ya Victor Mugubu wa nyama na hodo wa timu ya Manchester dhidi ya Newcastle. Tuanzie hapa mwanzo tusaidie wawekezaji nyumbani. Tottenham Hotspurs dhidi ya Newcastle. Hapo Tottenham watachukua wako nyumbani uh -huh. labda mabao mawili matatu hivi. Uh -huh. Lakini kuna bao moja kula kufutia machozi uende alikapatikana. Uh -huh. Siko vizuri kwa haya lakini uh -huh. Tottenham uh, Man City wako nyumbani na vile vile wameshinda. Uh -huh. Lazima wachukue Arsenal itabidi lazima wachukue kwa sababu gani? Uh -huh. Hii ni mechi ya mwisho eh? Mm. Ya ni mechi ambayo lazima Arsenal wenga mwisho mwisho kule mm. na Chelsea wako nyumbani pia lazima watakuwa na ushindi nyumbani kwao. Kazi mtazamaji sina la ziada sana sana kuna lazima macho na masikio nimekuwa wako Hassan Juma. Mimi naitwa Ali Manzo aise ntarudi kwenye muda sokuwa mrefu tu ni kuelezea taarifa zaidi ambazo tumekuandalia siku hii ya leo hivyo basi endelea kuwa nami tutarudi kwenye muda sokuwa mrefu.